across to Fred Burton, who joins me now live from Austin, Texas. He is the vice president of intelligence at Stratfor and one of the world's top authorities on security and terrorism. Fred, thanks so much uh, for joining us again. Earlier, you'd expressed some real sympathy for security forces in this case, even though there had been some criticism for how long uh, it took to actually catch the primary suspect here, four months when he had been in Belgium the entire time. Tell us why these operations are really so difficult to execute. Well, first, it's not like in the movies where these things just happen overnight. Uh, there's a tremendous amount of uh, cooperation and meetings that take place behind the scenes. They have to go through a tremendous amount of data. There's liaison channels that are talked to. There's discussions as to suspects and locations. So in essence, there's a lot of moving pieces that takes a while to put together the puzzle. So what happens to these captured suspects now? primarily Abdeslam. Well, first, uh, you're obviously going to be worried about his medical condition and get him adequate care. Uh, there's going to be a period there uh, in the first few moments where it's going to be important to talk to him, provided he will cooperate, to try to, to determine any other Confederates uh, that could be on the loose, as well as uh, any pending plans. The cell was very, very effective. And so one of the concerns might be as to whether or not there was an additional operation that perhaps these, this team was in the works. And uh, so you're going to want to make sure that you're not setting on a person that has imminent threat information. I'd heard an analyst say earlier that he would prove to be a gold mine of information, but I'm, I'm curious to hear what you think about that because uh, he can't be questioned under duress. Uh, he is under the law of French and Belgian and European authorities. How much information can they really get out of hardened suspects like this? It's going to depend a lot on his degree of cooperation. It's been my experience from talking to suspects very similar to him that a lot of these folks will talk. They're proud of what they've accomplished. It's going to be curious to see as to what he does disclose or whether or not he might ask for a lawyer. I think the other aspect here behind the scenes will be fascinating from a counterterrorism cooperation aspect is whether or not this will be a joint debriefing with the French and the Belgians working this together, or whether the Belgians are going to have the first crack at him. My gut tells me that there'll probably be some degree of joint cooperative effort here in the first take to try to see what he knows. Okay, Fred Burton, we're going to have to leave it there. I'd like to thank you so much for sharing your insight with us from Stratfor in Austin, Texas.